Welcome back to Underrail. Last time we dropped off some of the loot we collected in the mines and now we are finally off to Core City. Just out of curiosity. Ah, two options, take the train or take the boat, since the face look up of the rail to north underwear. If you want to walk, head north from rail crossing, you'll get there. You know the area in between is full of gangs and who knows what, okay. Actually, I suppose we'll take the train. Should we stop by Foundry? Let's see, do we have any jobs? Faisler? Oh, yeah, find one what happened. Protectorate train. Okay, we'll do that later. Yeah, we'll we'll drop by foundry. Wait, wait, just one second. If we get the uh, locate uh, the way by foot, then we, sh we should be able to train. If you want to walk, walk north from here past the GMS. I wouldn't wouldn't search the Eigenheim special concentrated warehouse block. <laughs> okay, I mean you could train. Okay, we'll, we'll check out Foundry first. We have... Gunner, Grenadier... I'm not looking for any trouble. Oh, plasma turrets! Foundry shield... Foundry gunner... Grenadier. Okay, so nothing interesting in here. Sniper, security camera. There's a desk. Barrel containing shells or shell cases Leonie The woman seems to be counting charons but she swept them from the counter and into her hand and then into her pocket as soon as you come near she leans on the counter with both of her arms and smiles slightly she is somewhat short but lean and healthy looking yet her voice is uh, while light exhibits a noticeable degree of harshness Welcome to Foundry's Metal Store. I'm Leoni. What can I get you? What do you sell here? Various kinds of heavy plates, weapons parts, explosive weapon cases, all everything made from di um, uh, all made from many different alloys. The selection is large, so you uh, take your pick. Take no break. <laughs> she smiles. It's local lingo. Any uh, anyhow. One of these alloys is pretty much exclusive to Foundry, Tychrome. What can you tell me about Tychrome? Well, Tychrome is an alloy made from titanium and chromium, and I'm proud to say that this particular alloy was first made in Foundry, and only just recently. The combination of titanium's low density and high strength and, uh, uh, and chromium's high melting point creates a material that is reflective and heat resistant as well as durable. Unfortunately, mine is closed at the moment, so chromium excavation has been halted. But hopefully it will be up and running sometime soon. Why is the mine closed? 
There was an incident. Uh huh. What kind of incident? Some creatures have attacked our miners, so the foundry guard has er eradicated those things before it's safe to work there again. As safe as possible, that is. Okay. What can you tell me about foundry? It's one of the best stations to live in. Mineral excavations and metallurgy is what keeps foundry running. Our mine is rich with titanium, aluminium and iron. And now that we've also found chromium deposits, we're getting more and more golden. There's only one bad side. All this requires hard work and is in dangerous and, uh, and often unhealthy conditions. Many people die in the mine. But many also die under all, uh, all, die all un, uh, over under rail from bandits, starvation and disease. My store is in the best spot. Turnover is good. I'm uh, nowhere near the mine and surrounded by big, strong men who keep me safe. She finds it difficult to conceal that uh, the shy smile. So, are you buying something? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, use extract ore from rock or clear rocks debris consumes 20 energy. Pretty heavy, I would say. Fire proximity suit. By metal components. Mm -hmm. Chemical trap case. I'm not sure if I would want to buy one. Let's check out first what else there is in this area. And maybe there's some money in for us to get. Actually, I might save some money by just reloading and going to Coast City immediately. Even though I like this area, I don't know if we're supposed to be here yet. Okay, this seems to be no time. And at the moment we can't do very much here, I suppose. So... You know what, we'll reload and go to Core City by wasting our times in mines. Doesn't look very special. Praetorian Bomber, Traveler, Traveler, Enforcer, Traveler. Keep in mind we are looking for some traders who are lost. Commoner, Commoner, Barrel, Bell. We'll look at these. So he would be seeing us since he actually knew we were hiding over there. Some more ammo and another barrel. Some scraps. Wow, these are nice doors. Nice and safe, I suppose. Some more barrels. Locked. Actually, I would prefer not to break into people's houses. Not as long as there's no necessity to do so. Empty. Okay.
Let's see. More guards. Set core city plans. More experience points. Old and damaged core city plans mostly illegible. Huh? Take. Core tech runner. Let. Uh, another barrel. That's Biocore Technology Catalog Fragment. John the Blue, uh, Beautiful. The man spots you from far f uh, away, lifts his index finger and points, right at, uh, points it right at you. His long legs close the distance quickly and as you raise your head more and more, you, you do, uh, do you uh, more do you realize you will probably need a ladder in order to speak to him and not strain your neck? While his coat seems to be in decent condition, excluding a few birds, a bullet sized hold, holes and off colored patches, his boots, on the other hand, won't last him much longer and his waist belt uh, fits him as tightly as a hula hoop. He stops in front of you, fingers still aimed down at your nose and speaks. You! Yes, you! You look like someone who got food. No, no, don't deny it. I knew it from the moment I saw you. You have food. Unfortunately, we left it in our locker. Should we? Nah. Can I help? Help how? It's not a, uh, let's not lie to each other. Mm hmm? listening. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, but first let me pro uh, properly introduce myself. I'm John the Beautiful. Am I not? Eh? Eh? Now what uh, uh, that we're done with that? Listen here. I've been living in Core City for quite some time now and I've learned many of its secrets. Even some of the most hardcore ones. And I happen to be hungry all the time. Understand, pal? I can tell you interesting and 100% useful things in exchange for what? Good. You get it. That's what I'm talking about, pal. You're not a stump as a low. Okay, okay. So here's the deal. You can find me near the back entrance to the hardcore city bar. That's where I us usually hang out. If you don't know where that is, find me first and uh, then I'll explain it. So bring that delicious food of yours and then we'll discuss things uh, further, pal. Okay, all right, I'll find you if I need something. Hey, hey, pal, that's what I'm talking about. See you later. Strange fella. Chartist missionary. And another cat. Mo. Okay, let's quick save before we open this box. Just in case someone Okay, no one? Great. Come now, mo elevator. Mm hmm Everyone likes eating at Moe's. Eating, not drinking? Okay. Do you know anything about John the Beautiful? Do I? If he continues with his food for information thing going, I'll be rolling and sharing with the rest of the fat rats in Core City. Bless him, I want to li uh, want him to live forever. No really, bless him. Mm -hmm. Where can I find some merchants? Take the main elevator and go to the level above this one. Should I avoid anything or anyone? Avoid drop zone, low lives, gangsters, and who knows what else lives there. Sewers are 
a, a no-no, but why anyone would go there in the first place is beyond me. He laughs. Okay, I'm looking for some work. Work, you say? I'm not offering any jobs here in my store, if that's what you're, last, uh, you're asking. He laughs. But no, seriously, maybe JKK, Cortec or Praetorian Security are looking for someone. Okay. No thank you, no interest in food for now. Billy Bob? It ain't right for a man to mess with another man's cooch. Mm. Yes, I know that I'm not interested. Upper metro station, upper level residential cortex, middle level merchants, docks. Just uh, check out the docks. I have suspicion. But there is a lot to look around here. Oh, money and parts and nothing. Okay, so we might not be wished in there. Some sheets. Racks, snipers, some more barrels. Captain Rascal, Superintendent Reuben. The man addresses you with an uh, irritated voice. What do you want? <laughs> Never mind. Traveler, Private Lloyd. Might be interesting later on. Where does this lead? If we don't like where this leads, we'll leave. Okay, not very interesting. I suppose these are the sewers. I have powers, great powers, yeah. Emotional, hobo, bowels. What's that? Old world boost bottle. Yay, and we actually leveled up. Level 10 now, so halfway down to the top. Suppose this is reasonable as well. Yeah, I, I know now that we uh, wasted a lot of sp uh, points which we could have spent a lot better early on, but yeah, too bad. Yeah, I think that's 
best for now. Let's see, we have the chance to maximize eight in total. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two more. Or split anyway round here. Yeah. Another feet. Carry capacity increased by fifty would be great. Telekinesis is strong with you, I really like that. Base matter than all of this time stacks up to five times or two twenty. Can we? Mm -hmm. hmm. Psychostatic electricity, organic induction. Shattering enemies. Yeah. But the increased capacity would be interesting, but I suppose we take the cryogenic induction and try to shatter some enemies, which could make our life a lot easier. Use the action point cost of our Psy abilities by 5 while at full health. Mm. That's interesting as well. These are all interesting. These are real feats instead of what I read was done with Fallout 4, but that's not important. Which one? Yeah, I, I want to take this one just because it sounds really awesome. Sh uh, shattering enemies. Okay. Don't know if that was a wise decision, but it is a decision nonetheless. Picking seventy. Okay. First of all, sold uh, sort all this stuff. Second, up to sixty nine, so we're missing exactly one point of lock. No need to leave this here. Molotov, smart Molotov. Yeah, we'll take it. If it's lying around would be a waste not to take it. But there were more areas to explore. 
And I suppose this isn't the merchant level of course city. So where do, uh, did, uh, does this lead us? Well, there's so much to be doing this for. Don't know, probably. Sergio the Wizard. The man stands next to a strange orb facing down, allowing the hood of his robe to conceal his face completely. This well-made, uh, uh, unstained attire, illuminated by the psychedelic orb, sets him apart from the ranting people aimlessly staggering about, or the sharp-eyed bodyguard overseeing their every move. He appears to be someone important, but the approach is met with no immediate response. Soon, however, his head slowly rises, revealing a face of a young man. Then an unexpected word comes out of his, mu um, with his mouth. Meow! Um, excuse me? Greetings, cat. My name is Sergio. What do you, uh, uh, do you want to get in motion? Huh? Do you? What do you mean by getting in motion? Never heard of motion? Cat, you're so silly. It's ob uh, obvious. You're not from Core City. Let's put it this way. Life in Core City is boring and depressing. Fact. Everywhere you look, you see death, misery, pain and death. Fact, yes, Arena might be the best thing since cats, but it definitely doesn't help the death part. Yeah, agree? Is there an alternative? Cat, you betcha. You need to get yourself in motion. It'll take you an ex uh, on an exciting journey unimaginable by most people. Is this some drug sort of thing? Fantastic, vivid, sensational, extraordinary, something you can't forget. And it's fun as it sounds. Meow. Does it involve this orb thing in front of you? You mean the shisha? Yes, why yes, it does. All you need to do is smoke from the shisha and enjoy the motion. It's safe, trust me, lots of people do this. Of course, it comes with a price. Mean of <laughs> only bullets and bolts are free in Core City Cat, and only if you take them a certain way. 60 charons per session, but for you it will be 60 charons. I think that's fair. Why is the price so high? Partially because the ingredients that go into making motion, partially due to the maintenance of the sh uh, shisha, plus some other things. It's perfectly reasonable price, trust me. In the end, it's up to you, Cat. No, no thank you. I'd rather pass. And I suppose there will be some more interesting information about this kind of motion. If we ask someone else. And if it's so great, yeah, uh, hi, I'll just close the door again and They could just have locked the door or said something. Okay, we'll save time chatting with that. Let's call him a drug dealer. It's hard to imagine he's anything else but that. Oh, and time's up again, so... F 
for now. We're done with under rail. Thank you for joining in. If you liked what I did, thumbs up for free. We got some more experience points. Um, if you didn't like it, some stones for free as well. There's a link in the video description if you want to try the game for yourself. And we'll explore more next time. I'll see you then. Bye bye.